think these people think a constant is energy, energy, eh, este, impersonal. This is con, con, conscient Brahman. Brahman, conscient Brahman for is conscient the God is energy. Uh, con, conscience Paramatma is God is in here. But the best, the best is conscience Bhagavan. Conscience the Lord, personality, di directly personality, no energy, uh, no, uh, no energy only, sino Bhagavan, energy, paramagma, and Lord. Bhagavan is all. Brahman, only energy. I think that. <laughs> Uh, uh, in Spanish, uh, little is right in Spanish for que se va bravo. I was having some problem with the Zoom so today. And my computer was giving some trouble. Oh. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> oh, Maharaj, okay? Yes, Maharaj, by your blessings, we are okay. You feel better. I am recovering after, you know, Puri Puri Krama, I am, you know, having some uh, sickness in the sense, uh, some uh, fever kind of symptom, cold, cough, like that. Now, I know I recover. A little bit of uh, weakness is there. Yeah. Take it easy for a few days. <laughs> yes. Muni Maharaj went to Calcutta. And he will go to some preaching program from Diamond Harbor. There is a place. He's going to do some program there and come back after Guru Purnima. Attend this Guru Purnima. After that, he will come back. And uh, some devotees are coming here during the actual also. They will be here happy with the Guru Purnima festival here. And then one local devotee. He is uh, having some VT installation in his house in the Grosta. That program was there on that day. Yes. He did not get sick in a trip to Puri? He was in Puri. I was okay in Puri, but after coming back, I was sick. I see. Mm -hmm. Everybody who went to Puri, uh, everybody have you know, some little sickness because of the heat. 
He's okay now. He's okay now. Okay. <laughs> Happy to see you, Mahara. Yeah, Ram Raghav, Ram Raghav is here. <laughs> Ketchup Prabhu, I sent a... Aribol. Ah, Aribol. Ram Raghav. Ram Raghav. Ram Raghav. Ram Raghav. Ram Raghav. Krishna Kesa. <laughs> He don't speak so much English. Ah, he has to learn little, little by little. It's about English. No, maybe we will never see it. He has uh, cleaned the rooms for devotees here. Yeah. Uh, coming from Guru Purnima is cleaning. Vishwajit is little, Vishwambar is little sick. With fever. Huh? Vishwambar. Oh, sick? Yes. Yes, it's some rasa. He's taking some medicine? Yes, he's taken uh, some medicine and I told her, told him to show to doctor also if uh, any further necessary. <coughs> they yeah. both went from Ram Raghav and uh, Vishambar. They were feeling okay after coming back and they went to Krishnanagar to do some collection and they collected together 400 rupees and after that he got sick. Well, not COVID, I hope. No, no not COVID. A seasonal cold and fever like that. Everybody is getting. Did he get his vaccination? Yes, yes, yes. You got already vaccine, no? Vaccinated, no? You got the vaccine? Covishield, yeah, one vaccine. Yes, Maharaj is there. I mean, Vishwam Bhavan. He's here. Vishwam Bhavan. Jai. 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 Mahaprabhu is all the brother. He was recording. He was recording the video, and he was dancing <laughs> in pool. Like, he recorded to dance and to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> they have to also dance, then it has to come to some, you know, frame of reference as to be saved. <laughs> what did, what did uh, I under write? This is still about Brahman. Okay. For example, someone buys a ticket to Spain and for some reason can only get to the Madrid airport, but cannot get off. They cannot get to know Madrid. Then another person buys a ticket. And if they can get there and get off and have some knowledge, but the person is better who buys a ticket, gets off the plane, and meets the locals of Madrid. They have better knowledge because they associate and become friends with the locals. In the same way that symbolizes the three consciousnesses of Brahman, Paramatma and Bhagavan. Krishna consciousness is Bhagavan because it is directly accepting the Lord as a person, not just an impersonal energy. <laughs> Very nice. But Brahman is not energy. Huh? Brahman is not energy. Brahman is not energy. 
No. Huh? Krishna is not energy. And Paramatman is not energy. And Brahman is not energy either. Huh? Jiva is energy. Jiva Shakti. Huh? Jiva Shakti. Jiva Shakti. Okay. Brahman is not Shakti. Brahman is no Shakti. Ah, no, sh ah, okay. Uh, and, and, and then, Mahara, then what is Bra Brahman? <laughs> I asked you that first. <laughs> 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 Shantamaras, what is your answer? I think it's the you know, effulgence of Krishna. It's what? It is the effulgence. Effulgence. Yes, of Krishna. And uh, that is non different from him, actually. Krishna's all part and part of India, they're non different. Krishna has many. Uh, expansions and representation to what you can say meet the you know different uh, you know individuals approaching him like uh, he has Vaikuntha forms and he also has you know the Paramatma form and also he has this impersonal representation to those who are approaching him for some kind of you know liberation you know thing so he gives them in time, they cannot penetrate beyond that effulgence to see his you know, form. So he gives that facility to them. Ah, uh, Mahara, and then uh, Brahman and Paramatma or fu uh, function of Krishna. Yes. Or function. Ah. Thank you. Not, not exactly function, but Krishna is uh, uh, there in those forms, or there in a, where they are thinking Krishna has no form. That you know illusion also he is giving to them, so that you know, they cannot penetrate beyond that effulgence. They don't. They don't want to surrender. So then they have to think that you know. The, everything is just that effulgence. Maharaj, but the impersonalist people see to Brahman uh, 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 a special for energy or no? No. No. They see it as a some sees as just consciousness. Some see as consciousness. The multi variety in the consciousness they don't believe. They they believe in only one, you know, consciousness. That okay. infinite infinite consciousness. Okay. Well, I, 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 I'm not sure, but I just answered this one, you know, I thought uh, I, I understood it. You may correct me, I don't know. Mm -hmm. This is what I am, you know, thinking about this, the representation of Lord. Different. That is, Vyasadeva has given in Bhagavatam, Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavati Sabdate, means that transcendentalist understand Lord in these three aspects. Brahman, Paramatma, Bhagavan. So according to their level of realization. Tandava, Pyaan Priyadi. Haribol, Tandava. Tandava, Pranav Maharaj, Tandava, so the devotees, Shantamara. Tandava, Linda. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm joining a little late, Maras. Just got in. 
We are discussing what is Brahman. <laughs> Mahaprabhu called Brahman as uh, Krishna. Uh, Mahaprabhu seen Brahman as Krishna. And he seen that Brahman is playing in the courtyard of Nanda Maharaj, that, that Raghupati Upadhyaya verse. Hmm. I am worshipping Nanda Maharaj on whose courtyard Brahman is playing. There are different ways of realizing Krishna. Yes. Different way, different ways. Yes. Of Krishna. Not everybody knows Krishna in the same way. Hmm. Those who want to be identical with Krishna, that is Brahman realization. Because that is the quality. I call Brahman spirit. Because that is the quality of Krishna. Krishna is spiritual, Paramatman is spirit, and Bhagavan, and, and Bhagavan, Brahman, Paramatman, and Bhagavan are all spirit. <clears throat> For those who want to merge with Krishna, uh, have the same recognition <coughs> quality that they have with Krishna and are content with that, that is Brahman. Um, Maharaj, I am requesting Krishna Kesava Prabhu, if, because my computer has some problem, if you can uh, share the sloka uh, of Chaitanya Charitamit Madhya Leela 19.96. So he says, Sutim apare smritim itare bhratam anne bhajatu bhava bhritaha aham iha nandam bande Yes, Alinde Param Brahma. She is a Param Brahma. Raghupati Upadhyaya recited, those who are afraid of material existence worship the Vedic literature. Some worship Smriti, the corollaries to the Vedic literature, and others worship the Mahabharata. As far as I am concerned, I worship Krishna's father, Maharaj Nanda, on whose courtyard the Supreme Person of Godhead, the Absolute Truth is playing. And Mahaprabhu always liked this sloka. And uh, this is Govinda Maharaj also quoted this sloka when uh, he was in Chandradaya Mandir inauguration time when uh, he was asked to speak. What is the word for Brahman? It's a Param uh, Brahma, it is told. Uh, and it's, that, is, that is Krishna who is playing in the courtyard of Nanda Maharaj. Uh -huh. Um, Brahman. That's not the same as Brahman then. It's a higher, higher than Brahman. Huh? I'm not sure what is the difference between Param Brahma and Brahman. Yes. Param Brahman means higher than Brahman. Yes. Of course, we can think of it as Param Brahma as higher than the Atma, but I think there it means higher than Brahma. <clears throat> no, Mahara, you can you Sri Ma Bhagavatam one two twelve one two twelve Sri Ma Bhagavatam.
The seriously inquisitive student or sage, well equipped with knowledge and detachment, realizes that the absolute truth, uh, realizes that absolute truth by rendering devotional service in terms of what he has heard from Vedanta Shruti. And then in the purport, it talks about Brahman. I think that's what he wants. Shall I read it out loud? No. So Maharaj, when, when this Bhagavatam says, Brahmeti Paramatmiti Bhagavaniti Sabdate, so there it is not the Param Brahma word is used. So what do you think that Brahma? Huh? In Bhagavatam, yes, that is Brahma. What about that Brahma? Yes, that is also, uh, it is indicating to absolute, no? Uh, but there is no explicit mention of uh, this, you know, para, Param Brahma. Yeah. Because many places it is used both, <coughs> Brahma and Param Brahma. So I'm not sure, you know, how that dis <coughs> distinct, distinct, uh, distinction we can make. Well, I think... Uh, you know, you know what gener generic, generic, a generic term is generic, yeah. according yeah. to genus, genus. Yeah. Now there are three things. There's genus, yes. species, and the specimen. Yes. There's a genus and species and specimen. For instance, genus would be mammal. Mm. Species would be cow. Yeah. That specimen would be the individual cow in your yard, in your go shop. Right? So everything has three dimensions like that. It has a genus, the species, and specimen. A human being is uh, a species of life. Uh, there are human beings, there's animals, there's fish, there's birds. These are all life forms. And the particular person you're interested in, that's a, that's a specimen. So like that. The genus is Brahman. They're all spirit, spiritual. The, the species is uh, what type of spirit? Uh, whether it's the spirit of, of uh, Krishna, spirit in the form of Krishna or of Brahman or Paramatma. And then the individual, uh, the Paramatma in your heart or the or Krishna that you are playing with. Something like that, you know. So Brahman would be the genus. Everyone is spirit, everything is spiritual. That's the mind. There's a spiritual nature of everything. It doesn't distinguish what type of form that spirit takes. So in that sense, it's formless. But when it takes, when it does some, when spirit is engaged in some particular relationship, like playing in the field, in the, in the courtyard of Nanda Maharaj, right? Then it's Krishna, spirit in the form of Krishna. Of course, Krishna is not, a, not a, in that sense, <laughs> a manifestation from spirit, but Krishna is the whole of what spirit is his nature. Maharaj, the Jagannath, also called as Daru Brahma. Huh? Jagannath is called as Daru Brahma. Daru means, Daru means wood. Okay. 
So Brahma means uh, the Brahma in the form of Ul. Oh. Daru Brahma. Okay. So that is one of the name of Lord Jagannath. Yes. So like that, you know, spirit has a very wide meaning, but it can take a specific meaning also. Just like mammal has a wide meaning, but it can take a spe specific form as a cow or as a horse or as a dog, or even as human. <laughs> Humans are also but mammal, when you say mammal, you mean something different than any particular form of mammal. In other words, a cow is not is a mammal, but it's not all mammals. When you talk about cow, you don't mean all mammals. You mean it's a mammal, but you don't mean all mammals. Mammal is a word that goes for all cows, horses, dogs, etc. Like that, I take Brahma to mean spirit, not consciousness. Consciousness would mean if Brahman were consciousness, then. Uh, Some are thinking that as consciousness, Maharaj. Like Srila Siddhar Maharaj has explained it that they only think about one consciousness. There are many consciousness they don't think. This Mayavadis. Yeah. So that is one way they think. Some more think that it is like a one substance. They also think like that also. Something like consciousness, something like substance. Ras, little, little, Prabhu, little, little article. Little. So Maharaj, basically, uh, a devotee sees Brahman as, you know, like a Supreme Lord's, you know, effulgence. He does not, uh, I mean, his focus is not on that. His focus is more about, you know, the service of the Lord, you know, but... Uh, the effulgence I see which represents knowledge. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I, I'm not sure, somewhere I've seen there is, uh, I forget, it is either surrender or something like that. Siddhar has explained. <clears throat> represent that one has to surrender. And uh, you have explained about, you know, hello, which is uh, like, you know, I think this Radharani's effulgence and uh, Krishna's effulgence, the difference is there. The, the distribution of the Lord, the distributing energy. Like Godadar Das, the expansion of hello. Well, if you think of Brahman as knowledge, knowledge of Krishna, then somebody can have knowledge about you, mm. huh? or at me, or anyone. Yes. That doesn't mean very much. <laughs> huh? It's not a relationship. Yes. Right? Only, Only knowing. knowing. Huh? Only knowing. Huh? Only knowing. Knowing, yes. There's not enough. Yes. That's not a very big thing. Of course, to know Krishna is also a big thing, but or to know someone is also a good thing. Otherwise, how will you ever get to have a relationship? Or to love them. <laughs> but that knowing is Maharaj seems to be uh, all based on individual's capacity. I mean, Krishna says that bhaktya maam He says yeah. only devotee knows me. So that knowing is, uh, you know, independent knowing.
independent knowing? Yes. I mean, she, that knowledge is acquired by one's own ability. And she is not surrendered. The knowledge is not given to him. And she wants to know by his own you know, capacity. He's dif differentiating between knowledge means it's your effort, you're not surrendering. But even mm -hmm. Brahman realization requires some degree of <coughs> surrender because it's like like Maharaj, uh, uh, ne science and Vedas means knowledge, but uh, beyond Veda, also people want to gain some knowledge by their own ability that mm -hmm. is known as Abhidya, ne science. Uh -huh. explained. So, that type of you know, like Srila Siddharmaj explained. The knowledge which is uh, directed towards liberation. I mean, people, they are too much uh, afflicted by the reactions of karma. Then they want to some inner relief. Then they go in towards Brahman by that type of knowledge which they are, you know, directing towards their own you know, liberation. So where does it say that Bhakti Mama Vijanati means individual knowledge? No, Bhakti Mama Vijanati, I'm not saying that. I'm saying about this jnana. Okay. I'm saying about jnanis jnana. Okay. Yes. Bhakti Mama Vijanati means that is the descending knowledge. Uh. Means jnanis, they want to have that knowledge how they get relief from the reaction. Yeah. Yes. So knowing knowing as the Brahman energy of the Lord or Brahman uh, aspect of the Lord is from the individual attempt to know. Yes. That's why they ultimately uh, because they have their individual ability, they want to know the absolute. They ultimately think that it's not knowable, unknown and unknowable. Uh. And that is true also. Ultimately, you have to realize that only because you are approaching by your finite ability. Well, Paramatma can also be a, an individual effort in the yoga. Seeing, that is about seeing, not knowing. Uh, that meditating to see, that's hantaros. Hare Krishna, Paris. Muted. That was video. Yeah, it took me a while. Hi, how are you? Good to see everyone. Hey, Hare Krishna. Good to see you. Same here. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Paul. Hare Paul. Nice garden. I wish, it was, I wish it was my garden. I wish I had those fountains. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find that place and, and move there. <laughs> Puri Maharaj, they have a nice garden over there too. Nice sunshine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And Chanta Mahara, why? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor light. <laughs> Prabhu, Kechav, I sent a little, little try in the WhatsApp, please. You. Uh, Bhagavatam 1.2.12. Oh, yeah, you've sent it here. Oh. Uh, the translation is learned transcendentalists 
who know the absolute truth call this non-dual substance Brahman, Paramatma, or Bhagavan. 1.2.12. And the purport, the absolute truth is both subject and object, and there is no qualitative difference there. Therefore, Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagavan are qualitatively one and the same thing. The same substance is understood as impersonal Brahman by students of the Upanishads, as localized Paramatma by Hiranyagarbhas or yogis, and as Bhagavan by devotees. In other words, Bhagavan or the personality of Godhead is the ultimate expression of the absolute truth. Paramatma is the partial representation of the personality of Godhead, and the impersonal Brahman is the radiant effulgence of the personality of Godhead, what the sun rays are to the sun god. Unintelligent students of any of the above schools sometimes argue for their own respective understanding, but those who are perfect seers of the absolute truth know well that the above three aspects of the one absolute truth are different perspectives seen from different angles of vision. Okay. In Sanskrit, the word Brahman doesn't mean consciousness. Uh -huh. Bre, the root of Brahman is Bre, B R I H, Bre, which means to grow. Grow. And grow. And mind, grow. Grow. G R O W. Okay. R O W, huh? Like, okay. like you go from a child to a man, is grow. So, Brahman means grow. And man means uh, uh, that which has properties or a substance. <clears throat> so, the foundation or that fa basis that grows. So what is that? <laughs> ah. Huh? Okay. Now, when a plant grows, how does it do that? <laughs> 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 how does the plant grow? Well, anyway, yes. How does the, or the organism grows not by just eating, taking things from the environment, like a crystal. Yeah. Crystal, yeah. crystal accumulates things from the environment and it grows in that way. But a plant or an organism grows from inside. Yeah. Yeah. He produces himself. He produces from himself something else, a different something different from themselves. But that something different from themselves is still integrated with the original thing, so that it becomes one thing. It's an organic whole. Huh? They create something different, but then it takes that different and makes it identical with itself. And that's what we call growth. Huh? You know how. How the cell, they call it mitosis. You know how the cell differentiates itself? Maharaj, you know that? Yes, Maharaj. From nucleus, the you know, division happens uh, with the, the content of the cell. That's called the mitochondria. Yes. The mitochondria is a particular molecule in the nucleus. And it divides itself, it produces itself uh, by a division, by a mitosis, it's called. It produces its own self, it's a duplicate. DNA does the same thing. It duplicates itself in making new proteins. So life goes on by a process of duplication of itself. Now, that duplication means it, it makes something different from itself 
that is actually the same as itself. And that's how it grows. It differentiates itself from itself and yet brings that difference back into itself. It's like an identity and difference, beta beta. Uh, what? You said mitochondria and DNA duplicate themselves or the cell duplicates them? Yeah, the mitochondria. But the mitochondria is just matter. How can it duplicate itself? It does. How? And nobody knows. Oh, really? Oh. They don't know. Uh, they can see it under the under the microscope, but they can't figure out how it happens. It's a very complicated process. In fact, you might have seen some diagrams of how the mitochondria duplicates itself. It has all these little threads that connect the two parts, the two duplicate in the original. All these little threads, somehow they form. And they're not quite sure how that happens. It's like a miracle occurring under the microscopes. In school, they teach you mitochondria means the powerhouse. Uh, so this, this process is there where uh, something is reproducing itself and yet identifying itself with that. It's the same thing as itself. It doesn't, uh, it's not like, you know, it, it reproduces itself and then the two parts leave one another. They remain connected. So life when, when the embryo grows, what it does is it duplicates itself first. The uh, egg duplicates itself, or the zygote duplicates itself. And then those two parts duplicate themselves and it becomes four. So first there's two, then there's four. And now those four duplicate themselves. Huh? And it becomes eight, then the eight, and then it becomes 16. And like that, it keeps going keeps growing by duplication, by division of itself. And yet they maintain an integrity of all these different duplications. Because it's all like the original. The duplicate means it's two, but it's one. <laughs> because of the same thing, not duplicate. When you, when you put something on the Xerox machine, that makes a duplicate, right? But the duplicate is the same as the first thing you put there. No, different, but the same. So life does acts like that. So there's growth. That's called growth. And Brahman is like that. Brahman is also producing something which is not different from itself and yet is different from itself. And that is the nature of spirit. Hegel explains spirit in that way. Spirit produces itself, posits itself, as different from itself, yet it's the same as itself. Just like thinking. Thought, thinking is thought. What does thought produce? Another thought. So thought change, puts it, produces something that is different from its, different from the original thought, yet it's all thought. Uh, and that's called thinking, the activity of thinking. So spirit is at the same activity like that of thought. And all of life is like that. Om Purnamada Purnamidam, the whole produces another whole without changing itself. So the whole spiritual character of spirit is represented in Brahman as a growth. Brahman produces the whole creation from itself. A, a Buddhists and uh, this Mayavadis uh, they, especially Shankaracharya, they interpret Brahman as some consciousness, actually. Ah. So that is the mistake. Yes. Like they think that, you know, only one consciousness is there, like uh, um, this uh, thing that Siddhar Maharaj stored in uh, Subject Evolution of Consciousness. He said the Buddhist school says that the individual soul does not exist. According to them, there is no permanent individual soul. Shankaracharya has also said that no permanent individual soul exists. But Shankaracharya says that conscious substance, Brahma, exists as the ultimate reality. This is the difference between Shankaracharya and the, uh, and the Buddhist. According to Shankar, consciousness itself is true. It is only consciousness of separate existence. 
that is false. In his view, the individual soul is only a reflection of the conscious substance, which is ultimate reality. Mm -hmm. With the dissolution of the mental system, uh, <clears throat> with the dissolution of mental system, each soul's consciousness of individuality vanishes. It is non-existent in that ultimate plane of reality. He gives the example of moon and its reflection in a mirror. Remove the mirror and there is no reflection. His view is that all individual souls are reflection of a common source, Brahman consciousness. So Sankracharya says in reality, individual souls are one and the same with the Brahman. So they interpret as sometimes as consciousness and sometimes as conscious substance. But they don't uh, say that many con many individual consciousness, only one consciousness. So it's important to understand that there's difference as well as identity and that you can't have identity without difference. Neither can you have I difference without identity. So there are both. In the absolute, there's both identity. <laughs> and and also the data uh, bed means identity in difference. The, the difference is uh, still identical. Like anyway. organic, organic whole. Ah. Even though there are many, um, what you can say, organs are there, different organs, still they're identical in the body. I mean, yeah. in the body, they are the part of the same. Ah. So this is called achintya. <laughs> Difficult to understand, huh? <laughs> yeah. I was discussing Maharaj today about, uh, you know, here, so many people are doing in Navadip these days, Rathyatra. But uh, I was discussing with devotees how this is not the proper Gaudiya conception. Uh, observing Rathyatra in Navadip and Vrindavan, uh, Gaudiya Krishna was not like that. And, uh, Siddhar Maharaj was very much uh, not happy about this type of you know, activity because he felt that that disturbs the mood of gopis and you know radharani they think that they are carrying krishna from vrindavan to mathura but almost now forgotten everybody this thing and they are doing this achatra they are not in vrindavan How can the Lord leave Vrindavan while they're in Vrindavan? <laughs> Navadweep while they're in Navadweep. Maestro Maharaj, they are talking a little bit about what are the three types of consciousness, Brahma, Paramahma and Bhagavan. They are talking about this. It's a difficult topic. que es Brahma, que, que es para Magma, que es Bhagavan. Brahma es como decir, la, el Maharaj dice que son funciones de, del mismo Krishna, que son tres aspectos de la verdad absoluta. Lakshmi also is listening. Ariananda, Lakshmi is also listening. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, uh, about a topic of the Brahman <laughs> para mama I don't know <laughs> I say last me I don't know no, nothing <laughs>
Maharaj, speak a little uh, speak in, in Spanish a little uh, about topic, uh, translate a little. Yes, okay. Today, Maharaj, reverse, oh, it depends. El Maharaj estaba explicando un poco acerca de tres puntos, eh, Brahma, Paramagma y, y Bhagavan. Entonces estaban a, a, a preguntando acerca de esos tres aspectos. Entonces eh, Maharaj estaba diciendo que Paramagma, eh, eh, no, Brahma, Paramagma y Bhagavan son tres aspectos de una sola verdad, de la, de la verdad absoluta. Y Sivila Shanta Maharaj dijo que, eh, por ejemplo, Brahman, Paramagma son también funciones funciones de, de, del señor Krishna, que es el, el controlador supremo. Entonces, todos son aspectos como, como aspectos de, de como aspecto de funcionamiento de, de, o de la concesión de Krishna que controla todo. Entonces, él ha adoptado ciertas funciones, una función como Brahman, como Paramagma y como, y como el mismo Bhagavan. Eh, son temas un poquito complicados. Y el Sri eh, Bhakti Madhava Puri Mahara estaba hablando un poco como la célula, la, el proceso de, de, hay un proceso de división de la célula, de celular, que se llama las mitocondrias. Entonces, ese proceso que se llama mitosis, el, el mitosis es el proceso de, de, de la división celular y donde se produce eh, nueva, nuevas células con el mismo ADN. Es un proceso muy, muy especial. Entonces el Mahara estaba explicando que ese proceso de, de, a través de la mitocondria, la mitosis, y se produce una nueva célula, dos células nuevas con, mi, con el ADN. Él dice, bueno, los científicos saben que existe ese proceso, pero no saben quién ¿Quién dio origen a toda esa, esa energía, a todo ese, a todo ese proceso? ¿Quién, ¿Quién hace ese proceso? Entonces, más o menos, esa, esa era la explicación que estaban dando un poco los, los Mahara acerca de estos tópicos que son muy, muy, muy difíciles de, de entender para, para nosotros. Un, un poquito difícil, dificultoso, pero, pero escuchando a Mahara un poco uno entiende. Un poquito, ¿sí? Muy interesante, gracias. Ya, Maharaj, thank you. Maharaj, today the, the return of the Yatra of Jagannath from Gundicha to main temple. So many people are doing a Yatra. I think I have sent one video link where some devotee asked Niryo Maharaj. Why the Gaudiya Vaishnava is not going to <laughs> the return of the Yatra? So he ran away from there, not answered that actually. He did not know. Why Gaudiya Vaishnava is not going to the return of the Yatra? Uh, what so, did he say? Uh, <laughs> he he ran away from there, he not replied. So, uh. so my internet is some problem like that. But actually, the Gaudiya Vaishnavas are feeling that, uh, you know, how can they see that Krishna leaving, you know, Vrindavan actually. When Akrura, you know, taking Krishna from Vrindavan to Mathura, so they don't want to see that. So that's why, you know, they not want to join that, you know, return the Yatra, the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. But Lakshmi's devotees, they join that. But uh, Mahaprabhu, somehow, he joined that also, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to, to see the, the activity of how Jagannath does the activity with Lakshmi. So that he wanted to see. So he went with uh, the Kirtan and he observed how Jagannath fights with Lakshmi in the door of uh, you know, the main temple of Jagannath. So he observed that and also you know, he was also maybe feeling the mood of separation, like the gopis, they felt separation when the Akrura was carrying, they were holding the, uh, you know, the chariot. So he joined that, but that the, the detailed explanation is not given, just short explanation is given. Elaborate explanation is given about how Mahaprabhu, in what mood he brought Jagannath from 
uh, Puri temple to Gundicha that is there. But, uh, Mahaprabhu also released the exchange of Lord and the Lakshmi. They also know. But Lord told the Lakshmi that uh, this is some uh, house uh, in an affair, a fight. Why you are bringing that to public? We will solve it in the house, he says. And then he you know, gives some sweets and solves that. Today that Jagannath's hand become full, like a uh, golden hand, you know. The Jagannath form disappears today. He become like Dwarka Krishna today. Right. <laughs> it's called marital spat. What else? It's a lot of an understanding. <laughs> a marital spat. I couldn't understand what is the meaning of that. <laughs> Who can explain what that means? Tanu Priya. <laughs> uh, yeah, an argument like a bit of a bit of a bit of a disagreement, almost. Uh, in the marriage, when the marriage has a disagreement with each other, it's called marital spat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they get angry at each other. That's what happens. <laughs> That's what happens with Lakshmi Priya and Jagannath. He, she comes in between also. There is a festival called Lakshmi Vijay. Some yeah. time back it went. She comes with angry mood. What are you doing here for so long? What are, why are you staying here? <laughs> what is that that you are doing here? <laughs> Actually, she, she gets <laughs> at the servitors of Jagannath rather than Jagannath directly. Yeah. <laughs> Mahaprabhu even released that also. There was a big Rathyatra in New York, Maharaj, I seen. Yes. I did not see it, but I'm sure it's on YouTube. I think you went there huh? like a couple of years ago. Yeah, in uh, 2018. 2018. There is There's no restriction, Maharaj, nowadays. I mean, for COVID? Yes. No, not so many. Now they have made it very easy. Haryananda is planning to come to India. <laughs> so yeah. asking me how I can become Indian citizen. <laughs> Jai. <laughs> I told him to come for a few months, then you think about citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> I need a passport in an pass, Venezuelan passport and uh, he go to India. <laughs> but Phil, Phil Steve uh, uh, had passport. It's very difficult 
Prabhu, you can make chess match with a professional chess player in India, and then they'll give you passport very quickly. Yes, you can be a chess teacher. Vishwanath <laughs> 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 no. Anand, you know? Very Say, yes. Dines, 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 Semana, como se dice en Grandmaster. Dines Guit, Dines Guit, in India, in Chennai, a, a champion, World Championship Olympiad, the chess in Chennai. He, this one at Anand, is a amphitryon in, in India, Dines Guit. <laughs> he defeated computer, Vishwanath Anand, quite a few times because he made a new, uh, what you can say, uh, technique or new procedure to attack, which the machine don't know, not fair. So he, he defeated the machine quite a few times. Yeah. Machine could not break, break that, you know, uh, that, that moves. <laughs> he he lived now now he lived in Spain and India, Madrid and India and in those countries. Uh, yeah, I, Mahara, I think it is I I think uh, uh, Little nation, Spain nationality because Bene, nationality ben, Venezuelan is very difficult, very 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 difficult passport. And, and to say, I think uh, 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 national Spain nationality is passport Spain. Is, is very easy go to India. No, I, I don't know. Uh, if you have uh, if you have difficulty in getting visa, let me know. I can send a letter to embassy. They can give. Ah yes. yes. Oh. Ah. Letter. I can talk. I can talk. Talk with the ambassador. Okay. The the this the next day I write to embassy uh, web the Venezuela as uh, solicit uh, solicitando passport. I don't know. The, the next day, again. I don't understand PNU. Uh... He's saying that the, tomorrow or the next day, I guess the next business day, he's going to write to the people uh, in Venezuela, the embassy there, who can give him citizenship in Spain. He has to, I think, yeah. what he's trying to do is right now he's still a citizen of Venezuela, even though he lives in Spain. So he's trying to become a citizen of Spain. And then once he's a citizen of Spain, it will be much easier to become, uh, get a visa to travel to India. Mm. But if you apply visa to India, you can take a letter from me. It will be easier for you to get the visa. Understand? Uh, uh, no, no, Maharaj. Uh, Mr. Kesaburu, can you? Explain. <laughs> v Visa de India. Uh huh. Yeah. Escribo Maharaj. M Maharaj uh -huh. to the ambassador. Ah, uh, Maharaj, write to embassy the the India in Spanish. In Spanish. I can, I, I can give him a letter of invitation. To Haryananda, and he can submit in the embassy. You understand, Maharaj? So yes. you will get a letter from the 
in, he, he will write the letter oh, Maharaj to write invite him to India. To invite Hari and Anu to India. Uh -huh. ah. Shanta, Shanta Maharaj can write a letter to invite you. Okay. And you take that letter, show it to the embassy. If you take that letter to the embassy, they will give you a visa. Ah, okay. I, you tell, I have invited, I've been invited to India. I have to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yes, yeah, Maharaj. Thank, thank you. <laughs> the, the, this, this point can help for to travel to India. Yes. Yes. India is a very difficult place, austerity, place of austerity. <laughs> austerity, not hostility. <laughs> no, no, austerity, I'm telling you, austerity. Maybe hostility too, I don't know. <laughs> Karananda is a strong person, so he can... Okay. Anyhow, if Krishna wants, it'll happen to <laughs> Kanupiya stayed for quite a few months, huh? How many months you stayed in India? Like six months? Sorry, Maharaj? Six months, no? You stayed? Well, I have done or I'm going to? I'm you, going stayed, to... you stayed six months, no? Last time? You can't hear? No, 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 not so long. Um, I think maybe it was a month. Only a month? And only one month. Uh, I'd like to spend more time. <laughs> so let's, uh, by the mercy of the, the Vaishnavas, by your mercy, maybe it was possible. Oh, I have Rocky. Rocky is the uh, <laughs> one, so one to be is. sorted out. <laughs> He's trying to jump up. Come on. Where is Noel Madhava? Yeah, I was with him today. I had him today. He's very well. He's uh, very, hard, very much hard work. He's nearly two years old, my grandson. So. Very, a lot of energy, uh, then doesn't stop. <laughs> very mischievous, very fearless, jumping on things, climbing on things. Oh, <laughs> you forget. <laughs> How is Ingoji doing? Sorry, Marsh? I'm saying about Terrace. How is Ingoji? Oh, He's doing very well. Thank you for asking him. I'll, I'll let him know. He always, he, he follows you, Shanta Maharaj. He, he watches what you're doing on Facebook. So he's uh, always thinking of you. You both want to come to India also sometime? I haven't asked him that question, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> come to India. <laughs> In winter, not in, the, not in the summertime. Yeah, right. <laughs> in the winter time. <laughs> we are planning for a uh, North India tour, Maharaj, with devotees. Where? We go to Goya, Kasi, Nemisaranya, Ajodhya. And then Chitrakut like that, Mathura, Bindavan, all these places. Mumbai? Huh? North. Mumbai also? No, not Mumbai. Okay. 
with devotees during kartik we want to go all these places and uh, there is kurukshetra and then puskar jaipur where is gobindu ji is there and uh, we return back so you Starting. won't you won't see pradyumna ji maras you won't see pradyumna oh, pradyumna we will go i think separately that is on the western side okay i am thinking to go to him in uh, next week if possible also i have to go to bangalore that room is there the owner is calling me ah oh. and when are you coming here <laughs> <laughs> there also i want to come my house let's see if it's only to more setting them resolve problems then we can come here. that's what i was wondering <laughs> You have to travel to Spain and England and then U.S. Uh, okay. <laughs> we will do some preaching with Haryananda in Spain. Uh, and he don't understand English. I don't know how he can translate anything. Anybody. <laughs> we cannot communicate. So it will be difficult. They they have on the cell phone. Ah uh, yes, I say translation. Yeah. yeah. You talk to the cell phone, and they will translate for you. I think Haryananda's picture is lost. It's frozen. Yeah, but he has a nice smile. <laughs> Linda will also come with you, Kanupriya. India. Maybe Maharaj, but if it's not so hot, she's explained before she's not good with the heat. So. Lila Sundari. Oh, Lila Sundari. Maybe, maybe. I think yeah. If you're doing a a very north Indian one, she would come. I don't know when. She'd like to. She said before she'd like to come again. Have you ever done? Because uh, you went before, I think, with. Um, uh chari maraj to up uh, right to the nina pole and all there didn't you i think on a preaching tour some time back so but she will come again i'm sure of it yes you 3 and 4 that uh, sarvilla wants to also come right yes Mahajogi Maharaj, uh, he spoke to me a few days back. He's having still some not uh, okay with his health yet, he told me. Sometime he's going on another Sankirtan, he said. But not much people, he was saying. Uh, on uh, Mahajogi Maharaj, on, uh, yes, the Harinam Sankirtan. Yes. Yeah, the little problem that... Um, uh on the chat they have a whatsapp chat and they say it's going to start at say 3:30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon but they have to wait for one devotee who's always always so late so ends up being a bit of a problem just that you can end up going up there and yeah, then really. waiting for 2 3 hours and then you know doing the hari nam and then it ends up being very late yeah. so uh I think for a lot of people they're not based in central london so it's a, a long journey to get up there uh, which is a shame it's a shame and i, why, I don't think why, why you are only going to central london for harinam you cannot go to other places also yeah i think maraj said that that's where it's preferred to be i don't know uh, um, so you can go to king's king's body that uh, near that market in green street there also too much crowd in there yeah yeah so i think my i remember my asking my wife this and and um, my yogi maharaj was saying that you know central london you get many people from 
all over the country really coming to London. You meet people from everywhere, you know, from North England, South, everywhere. They all come into central London in that central Oxford Street. So it's a very good place in terms of spreading the holy name. So, but yes, Jane, it's always so late. Mm -hmm. Here in India, in our Navadip temple, devotees are going every day morning, 15-20 minutes, Nagar Sankirtan. Mm. I have given them the hand mic. Now they are using that to go to that. From 15, 20 minutes, that's very oh, nice. From, from the Shingapoli? Yes. Okay. Nearby some you know, places, some yeah. uh, streets. 15-20 yeah. minutes going and coming there. Nice. And, and it's bringing some attraction, Maharaj? Yes, in the morning, you know, everybody, everybody, you know, they are happy to listen. And even nobody, all are, you know, wear a holy name. But still, it is very nice to do this. Mm. Nice. Oh, it's, it's just a bit difficult here sometimes because you know so many people are living all over in different places my yogi maharaj is north london i'm south and so many people from you have tubes. you have tubes connected pardon maharaj you have, you have tubes to connect all <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's like, the trains are very fast you can reach very very oh, fast tubes. Tubes and tubes and trains. Yeah, not bad. It takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to get into Central. It's not yeah. bad. I forgot that line name, you know, that is fast line. Piccadilly line or the Victoria line? No, no, that one. Another one. Central line? No, that is like, I sound like Indian, Indian name. Oh. Mumbai. Mumbai is one place name. I forgot that name, you know, that line. That is also very fast, the train. Fast train. Uh, yeah, uh, Victoria line is very fast. In the, no, I'm trying to think, what Northern line. Char line. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They're all quite fast. <laughs> you know the Charing Cross in London? Yeah. That's not a line, that's a stop, stopover, huh? That's a stop, yeah. That's on the northern line. Somehow I re remember that when I was in London for a visit. Charing. Uh, Charing Jubilee, Jubilee, Jubilee line. Ah, oh, Jubilee. That goes, yeah. Yeah, Charing Cross is very central. Uh, and you can get mainly many trains to everywhere from Charing Cross. We're going south anyway. It's right near um, Com Garden and Trafalgar Square. And then you go there up to Soho Street to the temple there. The main Iskon Temple is in Soho Street. They are actually doing uh, Kirtan every evening, I think now. They've got some good young devotees there now. I think they're going every evening. Bodhi Maharaj and myself used to go to many places for collecting. To Kingsbury, to Queensbury, <laughs> what they call it. That, uh, that is uh, this place. Kingsbury? Huh? They call King Kingsbury. No, this Bangladesh. Bangladeshi shops are there, no? Forget the name, the market, big market. Well, East London, isn't it? The East London set yes. side. Mm. Some Pakistanis are sometimes very angry on us. <laughs> yeah. It's big Indian community. Uh, I think Bangladesh and in uh, East London. I told one Pakistani, I don't know, he's Pakistani, Hare Krishna. Then he became very angry at me. <laughs> Why are you telling me Hare Krishna? <laughs> I 
I have seen many big Ratyatra in Pakistan. Have you seen Maras? In Pakistan, no. It's a big Ratyatra. I'm not sure how they managed to do that. This year is a big Ratyatra. There are still many Hindus in Pakistan, I think. Yeah, they are attacking and killing us still. There are quite a few number of Hindus uh, and they are preaching this way uh, somehow. Sridhar Maharaj went there, Maharaj, Karachi, when uh, India was not separated. Ah. Uh, well, Bangladesh was once part of Pakistan. It was. Yes. No, Bangladesh has become a very bad place now. This is like more fanatism has entered. They are killing devotees. Yeah. Somebody was inviting me. I told I cannot go because of all this, you know, problem. Not so far from here. Right. But the circumstances are not so good. Many are living from there out of fear, coming to India. Prasadam distribution was going on nicely. Krishna Kesava Prabhu is doing a lot of distribution. Teres is helping always. Uh, we distribute about 100 meals every year, month. <laughs> yeah. Not, not only there, but in other places. Yeah. We do 50 at the, uh, on that last day of the month when we're at the YMCA. Yes, Therese has become a vital member of our team. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> I love helping. Somewhere I read, Govindu Maharaj told, Mahaprabhu made the process very simple. He told, uh, this is, uh, what do you call it? Harinama Seva. Mahaprasad Seva and Vaishnav Seva. <laughs> Not a lot of philosophy. <laughs> The Vaishnava Seva may have the philosophy. <laughs> it, it, it must be having everything. Philosophy means Sankirtan. <laughs> Not different from that is factually Harikirtan Rupa told, no, that he also told their philosophy. Harikirtan is contacting you? No, no, no. 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 Sometime back, you know, a few days back, he sent a message to me. He, he is living with Jai Ram still, I think. You know? I see his Facebook sometimes. Ariananda, do you know Hari Kirtan? Hari 
from Venezuela. Uh, participate in, in Harry Kilton, in, in Maracaibo, Venezuela, in Caracas, in, in Spain, in, in Girona. No, Harry Kilton, uh, Harry Kilton. Ah, ah no, I don't know. Harry Kirtan Prabhu, no, 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 I don't know him. <laughs> not the name, but I don't know. What is, no. what is the name of his daughter in California? Daughter? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Harry Kirtan Prabhu is padre de um, Vrinda Devi Hasi in California. Brenda, Brenda. Oh. He knew he don't know. He knew he don't know. Harry Kirtan. No, no. He, he in fable, Harry Kirtan. No, no. Harry Kirtan was doing some uh, collection for Mark a long time. And doing my style. He and uh, the name that uh, Aravindo Lochan. He and Aravindo Lochan they are doing some collection. Okay. From Venezuela. Okay. I think he was the temple president of Parma Karuna for a long time. Arikita? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I, I, Mahara, I think Un Hari Kirtan dead in uh, dead uh, Venezuela. Uh, uh, one year ago. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Hari Kirtan, yeah. Maharaj, do you want to yes. go on? Or shall we shall we end our sangha? Yes, well, I'm I'm going to take rest now. Yes. All right, my dandavat pranams. I always Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.